copyright law in the United States protects expressions of ideas, but not the ideas themselves. So in other words, it protects the actual code that a programmer has written. It's really important to understand a number of things. I'm just going to summarize here. To, to understand the rest of them, you need to buy my book and read it. But the first thing is that you have a copyright automatically as soon as you finish the program. So there's a misconception sometimes that you have to register the copyright in order to get the copyright. And that's not true. You have a copyright as soon as you finish the work. Now the reason for registering it, registering it is submitting it to the US Copyright Office and you pay a very small fee and they keep it on file. This means if somebody steals your code, then you have a record, you have proof with the US government that you created that and uh, that it belongs to you. Now, the US Copyright Office offers incentive for copyright holders, authors, programmers to register their copyright. That is, if you have to register it to go to court. So if you're going to litigate, you have to register your copyright. Now, you can register the day before you go to court. So you could write your program today, a very complicated, valuable program, write it today, find out three years from now that uh, somebody has stolen it, maybe one of your employees walked out the door with it and is reselling it. You can go to court and litigate, but you have to register that, copy, that code, and so you would register it, submit it to the Copyright Office as late as the day before you bring charges against that other party. However, the, at that point, both parties could try to register the copyright and nobody really knows who was the original owner. So the Copyright Office offers an incentive. They say that if you register the copyright very soon after you finish the program, or at least I believe it's one month before you find out that somebody is infringing, that somebody has stolen your code, then if you win the case, you can win triple damages. So if you can show that your damages were $1 million because you lost $1 million of sales, you would be awarded $3 million. Now the reason for this is, again to emphasize, is that the Copyright Office wants you to register your copyright as soon as possible, not wait until you find someone stolen your code. Once you find someone stolen your code, there's a lot of questions about who really owns it, who stole it from whom. So they want you to register it as soon as possible. So that's what I emphasize. Once you've finished a program or it's reasonably complete, submit it to the Copyright Office. It's a very small fee. It's a very easy process. And you are really protecting your software copyrights uh, for a long time.